guys, SilverPlay22 here, bringing you my second silver upload of today. This is Silver in form, Luis, who is a Brazilian from the Ketty League. I've decided to play him in this 4-2-3-1 formation. Now, you might have noticed I also played Bradley Wright Phillips in this formation as well. I've sort of fallen in love with it. It's a formation that I've never really used in FIFA. I mean, I've used it a little bit in previous FIFAs, but I know a lot of people use the 4-2-3-1 version 1. We you know with all the cams and the CDMs and stuff. And I, you know, I've dabbled in that and stuff. I didn't absolutely love it. But this one, I feel like it gives you enough width, but enough stability in the middle. That's really awesome. And having a decent cam to play as that sort of key role is something that's absolutely vital. So was Luis that player? Well, we're going to find out. Um, I don't really know a great deal about this player. Obviously, Brazilvers aren't as much, you know, aren't used as much as they have been in previous FIFAs, but they are sort of, in my opinion, making a little bit of a comeback. Anyway, 86 pace, 80 shooting, 74 passing, 65 physical, and 78 dribbling. He's 5 foot 7, 5 star weak foot. Awesome. 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. Not as good. 33k is about where he's still standing. Now, obviously, you can see his stats here. He's got fairly well-rounded stats. 94 agility is obviously very nice. And acceleration, very high, which is always something I like to see on a midfielder. You know, I'd rather the acceleration be higher than the sprint speed, as I've said before. That insane shot power is ridiculous. Finishing 81. Long shots, decent. Passing, really good range of passing there. As I said before, 5-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, high, low work rates, which is awesome for a cam. I actually did play this guy a little bit all over the place. I played him as a striker quite a bit. And I'm going to tell you right now, he's more than capable of playing that because he's finishing in the box. It's awesome. But if you want to play him at cam, play him at cam because he's finishing out of the box. It's awesome. His, his passing is really, really top quality. You know, really you know, really accurate with his passes. And when he's playing those lob three balls and those normal three balls, really puts it into those positions that are great for people to run onto, which is really good. I found him surprisingly good in the air, considering how small he is. I know he's got not too bad a jump in, but you'll see a clip in a little bit where he sort of, he just beats the goalkeeper to a, a, a ball in the air and lobs it over the top of him, which is awesome. Makes really good runs, no problems there. If you want to play him as a sort of, winging cam or anything like that he's really decent at that i really have very little complaints as far as this guy goes he's, he's not the strongest and it, you know i wouldn't say his crossing was 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 perfect i would say his crossing feels off considering how good his passing is but overall i would i wouldn't complain too much about the about the player in general really he has some awesome stats no pro look i mean look at the long shots i mean he hits the post from real distance super quick fantastic dribbling really uh, good finishing, good long shots, good passing, surprisingly good in the air, makes good runs, as I've said all those things, not the strongest, crosses were wild, some of them really were wild, some of them were going sort of out for a throw in on the other side, and another thing, oh, I do need to say this before I go on, doesn't try to win the ball back, like his aggression is so low, if you lose the ball with him, forget about it, get another player to go and try and win it back, because he's not going to attempt to, his aggression and his sort of his reactions are quite low as well, so those two coupled together really make for a player who... He's great on the ball, but he doesn't he doesn't seem to care if he loses it, if you know what I mean. Uh, it feels like a 76 to an 80. I think in-game, I've seen Iron French has said he's about a 78, which is cool. But I think he feels like a little bit higher. Uh, fair price, I'd say 25k to 50k, but he will be a lot lower than this, I would imagine. I think he'll probably drop to about 20 to 30. And I've given him an 8.8 .8 out of 10 because I really, really enjoyed using him. I had... Very little in the way of complaints. Now, he does have some negatives, but he's sort of the negatives that he's got don't really matter to the player that he is. And I, I, yeah, I wouldn't really complain about any of them, to be honest. Really fun player. If you like Brasilvas, definitely go out and use him. Uh, for end chat today, who is the greatest footballer of all time? Let me know in the comments below. Who, who's the best footballer? You don't necessarily have to have seen him live or anything like that, but who's the best footballer you have ever seen play, whether it's on YouTube, currently? Do you think... You know, the old generation of football are better than the newer generation. Do you think, yeah, I'm just interested to know where you think football is and which is the best footballer of all time. Is it Messi, Ronaldo, Maradona, someone like that, Pele maybe? Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know which informs you want me to do next. Cheers, guys.